Hello, you all. Hope everybody's having a great day on this gorgeous, sunshiny, hot day today. It is great to have finally, well, I can't say it's even more consistent because here lately the temperatures aren't consistent at all. Nevertheless, it is great to be with you today. And I just wanted to take a moment to encourage you in the book of Psalms, the Psalms, um, chapter 1, Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted by the streams of water that yields its fruit in its season. And its leaf does not wither, in all that he does he prospers. The wicked are not so, but are like chaff that the wind drives away. Therefore the wicked will not stand in, ju in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. Just a short little chapter, chapter 1 of the Psalms, only six verses. But boy, powerful. And as I believe some of you might be, um, there's no might be about it. I see it so much in social media, how many of you are, are weary. You are weary of the wickedness of this world. It's just kind of bringing you down. It's weighing on you. Uh, the evilness of people, um, seeing it, it, uh, lived out and fleshed out as many in many cities their downtowns are are just trashed right now many of them just very badly i wanted to encourage you today that um those of us who follow the lord those of us who follow Jesus, we've believed in him, that he is the savior of the world. He died on the cross for our sins. He has paid that ransom. Those of us who have Jesus as savior win. We win. And guess what? The way of the wicked will perish, it says. And these times, really it's been known and it's been happening over, oh, centuries. But it's known as the birth pains, the birth pains of the return of the Lord, that he's coming back someday. And he's coming back to, to call us home to this um, to this perfect, perfect place that he has in store for us. I want to encourage you, don't be discouraged. Don't be so down. Don't be bummed. Um, now, granted, it's okay to, for, for sin, for you to feel the weight of sin and for it to just weigh heavy on you as you so long to live at peace, you long to live in a country that that isn't so divided, well, guess what? You will be living, though you believe in Christ, you're going to be living in a country that is not divided at all. It's perfect. So, be encouraged. Be encouraged that there's a day that you'll be face to face with your Savior. There's a day that you will be in his presence and you won't be dealing with any of this. These birth pains have to happen in order for us, uh, in order for him, it's in preparation for his, his return. Him, um, those, those of us who, who hold to, but you know, I, I know myself, I hold to the, the belief in, in a rapture, even though that word isn't, 
literally in scriptures. There's this catching up, though, is what's used in scripture. Uh, catching up in the sky of, of the saints. The dead in Christ first shall rise, and then those who are alive in him. Um, that, that's a real thing. And, and it's going to happen. None of us knows when. So um, it's interesting as I say this, and I just, I'll admit, I just threw it in the trash. <laughs> Matter of fact, just a second, let me dig it out. Oh, rats, the janitor already emptied the trash today. But I got, and I, I imagine some of my pastor friends get these as well. It's this mass mailing, and I don't know who these people are, but I mean, it was a chunk of papers that, you know, the end is near. And, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's talking about the end times and about how um, it came out of Columbus. It was a, the return address was Columbus, but it, it was uh, about warning about the, the coming of, of Jesus to call to call his saints heavenward. Well, that's very real. And I don't really know, hmm, maybe I do know. Maybe there's not enough pastors that are teaching that time could be short and that there's a real, um, there's this real day of reckoning that we will all have. It's not a sad thing. It's, a, it's an awesome thing for us who know the Lord. So I want to encourage you, if you're watching this video and you cannot say that my talking about these things, you know, gives you peace and excitement, but it makes you fearful, I want to encourage you to put your faith in the one who gives you peace and comfort and assurance that, that you are right with God. And that's Jesus. It's simply, it's simply Jesus. Um, and uh, so anyway, I wanna encourage you, if you're fearful during all of this, put your faith in Jesus. And, and I don't, I don't wanna um, pretend that Christians don't get fearful. They don't get scared. I know it, it happens. It's true. Um, we don't have to, though. I mean, scriptures tell us we can be, uh, um, be ones who are, um, it, or it says, take courage, do not fear. You know, we don't have to fear. And so anyway, I just wanted to just share Psalm 1 with you all today, uh, just for some food for thought. And I just wanted to take a moment to encourage you that the evil we see in the world, it's in preparation for Jesus for a day, as scripture says it, that we're going to hear a trumpet blast. Now, I think it will be pretty unmistakable as, you know, I have two sons that play trumpet. Um, I played trumpet when I was a youngster, switched over to tuba, but that's besides the point, you know. It's not going to be, oh, what's he practicing now, you know, upstairs in his room. No, it's, it's going to be a very recognizable trumpet blast that, that Jesus is calling us home. And so I wanted to encourage you, be excited about these days we're living in. Yes, uh, pray for those who are doing this evil, that they will turn to the Lord and have faith in him and find, just find a rescue from whatever it is that's, that's holding them in bondage, which we know is ultimately from the enemy. But uh, anyway, folks, press on. Christians, have deep faith. Be, be giddy with excitement that there's a day, maybe soon, who knows, that Jesus is going to call us heavenward. What a great day that is, that, that will be. Um, so many songs I could go into right now from even just those words, but 
I'm not going to sing for you today. So God bless you all. Have a great week. Stay close to the Savior. If you haven't already, put your faith in him. See ya.